good. The other one I've had for three years, so it's time to go. Okay, so what we have is we have two vectors. We have uh, one vector u, which is i plus j, and then we have the other vector v, which is 2i minus 3j. And what they're asking us to do is do u plus v, and then also to go ahead and then sketch the resultant vector. Now, one thing I want to remind you of is when looking at these, these are written as a linear combination of our two unit vectors. We can also write these in as a component form to kind of get a little bit better idea. We can also say that u is vector as a vector as 1 comma 1, and v is written as a vector as 2 comma negative 3. So this might be helpful when you're first getting started, right? You can either write it as a component form or as your linear combination. That's what I just spent the last five minutes reviewing over, right? So let's go ahead and sketch this first and kind of get an idea of what these two vectors look like. So the vector i plus j is just going to simply be over 1, up 1. So that's u. And let's do a little color coordination. Uh, let's do v, which is b over 2, down 3. 1, 2, 3. OK? Now, if you guys remember from your notes last class period, what we talked about was when we add vectors, all we're simply doing is if I have u plus v, I'm just adding v1 plus u1, comma, v2 plus u2. So really, in this case, even if I'm doing i and j, that's OK. I can say u plus v is going to equal um, i plus 2i, comma, j minus 3j, which then equals 3i, comma, um, or what am I doing with the vectors? We're writing these in the i and j's. There you go. So then we can have 3i plus a negative 2j. So it would just be 3i minus 2j. Okay. So your coordinate would be 3, negative 3? So your coordinate of your resultant vector would be over 3, 1, 2, 3, down 2. Okay. Now, let's go and see if we remember how do we do, how do we even do the sum of these two? Because, yeah, you can find this resultant vector, and we could say that, oh, yeah, that's the resultant vector. This is u plus v. But what's the other way to do this? Remember what we could do to find this is we can transpose one vector to the end of the other vector. Take the initial point of one vector and transpose it to the terminal point of your other vector. And when you do that, when you take u, and if I transpose it, u to over here, you can see it gets me to the end of my vector. I could also transpose v, the initial point of v, to the terminal point of u. And if I do it that way, you guys can also see you're going to get your resultant vector. All right. So it's just a couple ways to understand. Here's my resultant vector. You can do it two different ways. One, by combining these two, right? by combining the two vectors, one after the other. And then also by algebraically, when you're adding two vectors, you're just adding your i's with your i's and your j's with your j's to be able to evaluate. OK? Cool? Yes? No questions? We're going with those? Cool. OK. So that was u plus v.